What's up, guys? In today's video, I want to talk about the Ethereum ETF, Bitcoin ETF, and what you should know as an investor, whether this is your first bull market, second bull market, third bull market, so on and so forth. We're all waiting for altcoin season. You've seen different opinions of it's going to happen this year. It's already happening right now. It's going to happen next year and the next year. What's going to happen? Who to trust? Who to believe? What you should do? How to safeguard yourself, how to mitigate your risk, how to make some profits. Before we get into that, I want to read you an article on the Ethereum ETF, give you guys an update on what's happening, then tell you guys why I find it so important of the wild card of ETFs in the market this cycle. So let's get into the article. It's by Coin Telegraph. This is on the Ethereum ETF. And this is why Ethereum, by the way, is pumping, in case you're wondering. Um so it says Ethereum ETF approvals becoming giant political issue. Right now you're you're seeing politics being talked about. The elections for the US are taking place this year. Donald Trump already said he's pro crypto. Apparently the Democrats are saying now nah, they're bullish on crypto, despite Biden saying he wants to raise capital gains tax to near fifty percent, which is atrocious. Um, very bad. And um anyways, let's keep reading. According to CEO Joseph Lubin, early stage applications to launch Ethereum's exchange trade fund, that's what an ETF is, in the U.S. are as good as done. Basically what I've been saying, the SEC can't stop it. They can only delay it. Just like Bitcoin, the thing with this is, is BlackRock is in the market. BlackRock is a huge hedge company. Okay, They're a part of many people's retirement portfolios, 401ks. Larry Fink even said the future is tokenization of assets. Crypto's here to stay. He said it a while ago. They're in the market. These banks are in the market. These whales are in the market. An ETF, for those who don't know, an exchange trade fund, gives exposure to investors, including those in stocks, precious metals, real estate, exposure to try out crypto. And this is why it's bullish. An ETF is the long game. People invest into ETFs as part of their 401k. So what's a 401k? A retirement plan that usually lasts for 30, 40 years or more. So an ETF, in this case of crypto, says what? If we're talking about that same time frame, same time frame of 30, 40, 50 years, what does that mean? Money coming into the market and money not really exiting the market. At least as drastically as we've been seeing what does that mean? That means higher highs and probably higher lows, which means we're probably not going to see these big, aggressively drawn out bear markets after this cycle because we have smart money in for real. The ETFs, the banks, BlackRock. We got a lot of hedge fund companies in here. Goldman Sachs is here. Chase Bank's here. So this is really big. Speaking exclusively to Cointelegraph at Dabcom, blah, blah, blah. 19 BDS4 applications filed by firms like BlackRock, okay, we just said that, will be approved by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. However, their launch to the public could be more a protracted process. These 19 B4 from the exchanges, I think it's good. It's done, okay. According to Lubin, Donald Trump's presidential campaign uh, representatives also have been talking to cryptocurrency ecosystem participants for over two months. Again, this is going to be a big talking point for many uh, influencers, especially politicians, who can get the crypto enthusiasts behind them. I think it's going to be the candidate who, you know, is trying to put crypto in a good light. So that's what we've heard. They're trying to formulate a strategy considering there are some really savvy supporters on the Democratic side. I believe that the presidential campaign and others want to appear pro-crypto. That is true. They're going to want to because if they don't, people are going to just not like them. Um, let's see. Consensus announced in April that it was launching legal proceedings against the SEC for what Lubin, the co-founder of Ethereum, has described as an undisclosed internal move to reclassify Ether as a security. It's not going to happen. Again, they're trying to FUD crypto. How do you FUD crypto? Go after the largest old coin Ethereum, if you can call that a security, and it somehow quote unquote sticks. The majority of people will say, oh my god. Let me sell every single Ethereum token. What is that? Every single altcoin, pretty much. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much one article on the Ethereum ETF. Um, again, I have experience with Bitcoin, uh, 
with uh, stock ETFs. I have done them. You have the S&P 500 VOO. You also have VTI, which is the entire total stock market for the U.S. You also have um, other index funds. A lot of people look at ETFs as risk-averse investment vehicles. And now that we have that a part of crypto, I think of a future with regulation, less volatility, more money in the market, the law of diminishing returns, and also security, less risk. You know, people, you know, they think, oh, if, if the big players are in, it's bad because it's going to be too clamped down on crypto. I mean, if you want mass adoption, they're going to take their fair share. They are. Obviously, this makes Bitcoin better, though, in my opinion, because Bitcoin is like your own cyber bank, your own decentralized bank. They can clamp down on crypto all they want. They can raise the capital gains tax. They can say ETFs, you know, across the board. It doesn't change the fundamental properties of Bitcoin and what draws us to Bitcoin. But this for Ethereum was bullish because now down the road, there's going to be questions on is there going to be a Solana ETF, maybe a Casper ETF at some point. So it's getting us closer to mass adoption. And that's what the enthusiasts, including myself, want to see. You know, people keep calling it their only security. They say it's worthless. Obviously, it's not. It's number two to Bitcoin for a reason. It's been riding up like crazy. It's got smart contracts. It's the first blockchain to ever exist. It's got a lot of institutions backing it. Yes, the fees are expensive, but it has a lot of developers on Ethereum. The most developers I've seen for quite some time. Do we have other catalysts down the road? Yes, we do. But again, this is what you want to see, right? You want to see BlackRock talk good about it. You want to see politicians like Donald Trump and other presidential candidates or people of power talk about crypto in a good light. Whether they act on their word and stay bullish is anyone else's guess. I'll let you decide. I'm not going to make this a political video, but nonetheless, this is what we're seeing right now, which is why I put in my live stream today. We could see sideways action for the rest of summer. It just means what's to come, in my opinion, is going to be a massive move up. Massive move up. I mean, Bitcoin breaking 100K. It's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy gain. And, you know, Ethereum is probably going to break 4K any day. And a lot of these old coins are ripping. I saw NVIDIA release their earnings. People are saying we're going to see an AI rally now on Discord. We're talking about this right now, actually. They're not wrong. We could see a lot of rallies from here until the rest of this year. So it's important as an investor, if you're looking at discounts, take advantage. You know, put some money in the market. Okay. If you're not established yet and you're asking, hey, John, is it two way for X, Y, and Z crypto? Is it two way to buy all coins? No, it's not. Zoom out. You got to zoom out on your crypto plays and zoom out on the crypto market. We're at what? Two and a half trillion. I believe in total market cap, we could hit eight trillion of the cycle. Who knows? We really could see a huge super cycle, a big bull cycle. I honestly don't know how big it's going to be. This market, we have never seen this before. That's why it's hard to call this. All I know is, I'm going to be ready. The question is, are you going to be ready? And by the way, if you want to reach out to me. Talk to me. So crypto on buy and sell and trade next be a part of private live streams and conference calls. We literally had a conference call this week today where you can talk to me on stage in a nice relaxed Q&A. Also see my buy alerts, my sell alerts. You can track my portfolio now. You can be a part of different chat communities of like-minded investors who also want to change their life, which over 25 have already done it. Truly remarkable. If you want to join, I'll put a link in the pink comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. How do you feel about the Bitcoin ETF and the Ethereum ETF in relation to how the market's going to be down the road? And what are you currently buying right now in crypto? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much that being said. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.